Hey Kate, just a quick little video. Um, when I made the rear cylinder covers, I left a little lip on the edge, and I was going to mount it on a um, on a mandrel in the big lathe, or the big air lathe. But ultimately, looking at it, I figured the easiest way was to just stick in the three jaw chuck on the tag and um, take it off that way. So, a couple of minutes just of my tiny lathe. This was actually the first lathe that I ever um, that I ever used when I was about seven I think. So It's a really nice little lay this. If you ever want to get into um, just doing small jobs, learning to use a lathe, it's a really good sturdy machine. And we've done quite a lot on it. I mean, I'm doing cast iron here. But we've done um, four inch railway wheels on it in steel, no great issue. And you have to keep your cuts fine. Um, we have pushed it a bit. We've done 10 thou cuts. It's an imperial lathe. We've done 10 thou cuts on um, brass and bronze, but for the most part, you want to keep it under 5 thou. And to be fair, my bigger lathe that I've done most of the machining for this on also is recommended to keep it under 5 thou. So you know, for a small lathe, it's a really sturdy little machine. It's not quite running true. But 
I've got the um, I've taken that edge off which is what I wanted to do I might just take another tiny cut and just see if I can get it um, truer to this lathe Looks like I've actually hit the stop at that point, so let us move the stop a little. And you can hear it going in and cuts really nicely. The tool I'm using here is actually a diamond tool holder, same as what I usually use on the larger lathe. But um, from what I'm aware, this one actually isn't available anymore. Um, it's their really tiny one for 6mm tool post height um, with a 3mm um, high speed steel tool in it. And I hope it's it's still available. Maybe it's special special order. I haven't looked, but it is. It's a really really good tool to have on a small lathe, um, in particular. Yeah, that's done beautifully. And there we go. Taking that edge right off, and it's cleaned it up nicely. So that's that complete. The other one I already did because I didn't have a, um, I machined it slightly differently on the lathe, on the bigger lathe, and didn't have that lip to take off. So there you go, different machining methods get you different results. But that's come out quite nicely, I'm happy with that. So once I, um, I get the smoke box saddle done, I'll be able to move to the mill and finish these off there. Just a quick video, like I said, thanks for watching.